Guys, how's it going? Well, today's Monday. And I'm emptying out the uh, tank here on the back of my truck. Now, we didn't quite get all the uh, plumbing done there. We went to a party yesterday out in the campground site there. And met some new people. So, anyways, uh, got the vent stack in. I'll show pictures of that in this video. I was up on the roof. The neighbor helped me out a lot. So I gotta thank him. Uh, Donald and Nikki. And the kids. I had them over for uh, dinner yesterday. We had uh, chicken. And I'll show a picture of that in there. We made a big chicken dinner with a fresh chicken. And then I'll show you down here. So I got all this done. In the ground now i'm gonna fill up a little more gravel in there so it runs from here to there these bags here this one here is for the kitchen sink which goes up there this one goes over here and then the washing machine will be there we brought the washing machine down and i near killed my neighbor <laughs> it'll also uh, show you my super mad jump that i did uh well fairly intoxicated <laughs> yesterday <laughs> So, yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. But, uh, I feel good today. Didn't uh, didn't hear as bad as I thought it would. So, Superman jump off the stairs. <laughs> so, anyways, here's the water system. So, we didn't get water in here. As I said, we don't have it quite plumbed up yet. Um, building a base here for this. I didn't get a chance to get it all done. I want to get it off the ground a little bit. Just to get some height. Um, this is the pump that I picked up. Um, all YouTubers that are on uh, my Facebook, uh, they saw this already. I want to give a big old shout out to my buddy uh, Dave Wilcox Jr. too. Uh, he had uh, mentioned uh, about these uh, IBC tanks. And uh, my brother Sheldon Sharon as well, he, uh, he mentioned that I should bring it, bring them into the house. And I was trying to figure out. How the heck am I going to do that? <laughs> so, we actually took the patio door out. It, it, I, you know, I just, that patio door, I, something about it. I don't like it. I want to replace it with something else. So, well, we put it back in temporarily. Um, I put spray foam around the um, sump pump um, hose just so it doesn't freeze over winter. Not that it will, but mm, just an extra precautionary. Um and this is the um the pill alarm so and i'll show you guys uh the first of a few videos uh for um installing the septic tank there's just so much video i filmed the entire thing I'm notorious for that. And not only that, I use my stealth cams to get pictures. So I'll do something kind of cool. So those will be a little bit longer videos. Um, I have these uh, 5 8 tongue and groove that i got to finish putting in here. And then I'm going to finish that all now. And I'm going to um, cover all that because now the inspector's checked it off. He's happy with it. I'm happy with it. I'm happy that he's happy with it. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to be getting out of here right away. So I just turned my oven off there. This is the breaker for the um, furnace. And then, of course, I have all these other breakers here. So, and then this is for the dryer. So, well, I'll show you the washing machine. Um, I picked this washing machine up on a local site that we have here. It's called Kijiji. Um, we also have Craigslist. I know that a lot of people down in the United States use Craigslist. I don't know if you guys have Kijiji down there, but anyways, I bought this. And um, the guy that had it, the couple that had it, uh, they had really bad issues with it. And they had everything replaced. So this thing is brand new. And it still didn't work. Well, there was an error that came up on here. And, and uh, I went on the computer. And, of course, I'm pretty nifty on the computer. And I pulled it up. And um, sounds like I'm going to kill a fly. See him? Oh, 
Yeah, I got him. So, um, I, I went and I, I did that E whatever uh, error, and you know what? It was a $15 part. Um, it was a thermal sensor down here. So I took it apart, I replaced it, and uh, lo and behold, it works. So, and I bought this for a hundred dollars, so I was pretty happy with that because they're like, you know what, just take it. <laughs> so, so it's all brand new. So, and they didn't have it for very long; they just went with a, a regular one. Now, one thing that I know that people that have these, um, when you you finish your laundry, there's a bladder in here, uh, right here. So when you finish your laundry, it's always good to leave. The door open because what happens is, is this gets all musky and uh, it starts to smell so that's just a little tip for me I'm sure you know um, if you if you have one of these but I haven't used it since they replaced everything so nothing's musky in there um, and of course this is where you put your laundry soap and all the other stuff is set and set so and then you can take it out clean it so it's always a good idea because they do get clogged up so i'm looking forward to that and uh what else uh this week i'm supposed to go to a pork roast at my buddy uh ted hughes place out he just uh, he's out here by brandon but my little sister texted me and my nephew's birthday is next sunday so ted apologize i'm not gonna be able to make it i gotta go to my nephew's birthday so it'll be a good one it's a pool party so that'll be pretty cool so anyways guys i'm going to lock up i think i gotta turn that light off yeah behind me i have another light i'm gonna put four lights in here i'm gonna lock up i'm gonna get going on the road i've got to uh go do some stuff and uh get back to Winnipeg, go back to work. Nobody likes going back to work. So, that was a good weekend. Yeah, so, I shall do that. All right, so I'll show you the chickens and everything. We'll go outside for a quick, I'm stalling so I don't have to leave right away. So, let's check that. Make sure I bring all my stuff. I'll play that song. All right, guys. So, oh, I'd like to give another big shout out to my buddy Calvin's Corner Seventy Two. He's sending me a flag for for the house. So I want to say thank you very much. He's on my Facebook page, so here to let me know in advance, and I appreciate that, brother. And. uh I gave my garden here a real good soaking. Uh, <laughs> one hand, that little hand right there, and the gray, she's really crafty. She got away a couple times, so I gave them a big thing of uh, cauliflower, or not cauliflower, uh, well that green stuff, I can't think of the name right now. <laughs> Broccoli, so they're gonna chomp on that. Mike's tomatoes, my cherry tomatoes here are coming out really well. So you can see them there, and some have fallen on the ground, and. My beans I ate for breakfast, so I still got some. I'll take some traveling food, but that's my beans there. They're doing really well. My peas aren't doing very well. It's been a very dry year. I just dumped that whole tank on top of here. Um, and then I've got choke cherry trees. These are my uh, cucumbers. And then, of course, my Brussels sprouts are getting beaten by the aphids or aphids. These are my turnips, or not turnips, sorry, beets. And they're not doing very well. They're not doing much at all. Um, yeah, that's too bad. Well, there's a local market here anyway, so I think I get them really cheap. I like turnips. I actually put them in the chicken dinner yesterday. These are my big tomatoes, as you can see. This one's getting really dry, I guess, or bugs in there or something, I'm not too sure. Chives are okay. I got one strawberry again on there. I only got a couple strawberries this year. There's another strawberry. It's not doing all that great either. That's no, all rotten. Well, not a good year for farming, guys. We haven't had a lot of rain. 
Everybody's suffering out west here. We've had like 10 millimeters of rain, that's it. Everybody's wells are running dry. I've got some... Um... Oh, this is uh, my raspberry bush. I've actually got about a dozen raspberries off of it. And I found another raspberry bush in all this mess. Oh, see? Here's raspberries here. Oh, sweet. I'm going to pick these. Well, that one's not ready yet, but that one is. Sweet. Any more? No. That one doesn't want to come off. No. All right. And there's more here. Check that out. Oh, yeah. Welcome to my jungle. Yeah, there's some there. Oh, that's awesome. So, I'm gonna eat this one. Hmm. And then, on the other side here. Oh, I lost three ducks, or two ducks, sorry, two of the little ones. Uh, the coyotes have been getting in there. So, kind of braced it up a bit. I gotta lock this up before I leave. Get all my junk. And I'm saving water. So we did get a bit of rain from the roof. But not much. It's just dry. The rain just comes in and it just gets gone. These are raspberry bushes too that just popped up. I'm gonna keep those. Uh, there's one hanging off of there too. Uh, I'm gonna have to put some fill down there. This is the septic tank here. And this is the uh, shed I built with my other neighbor Dave and then uh, my neighbors Donald uh, Inkster and his son Donald Nicky. Your son came over Tyson and helped me build the the deck here and everything and get all that and then he helped me put the tie back in and and for him helping me out this summer with taking care of the chickens and everything I'm giving him a computer so he doesn't have a computer so anyways this is the door so I'm just going to by itself pretty nice and balanced I drink lots of water and I have to do poly up there and I'm going to insulate all that, I insulate the bottom. It's going to be my wood shop. And then uh, yesterday I taught the little one, uh, he's 13, and I, or turning 13 uh, on the 11th. And I taught him that, he says, well you can't get that tank up there. I said, there's no such thing as can, there's only do. And he's in cadets and I said, they're going to teach you that. So I got two ladders there, one there and one there put the IBC tank up on there, put it up on there, and then uh, he stayed down here. I went up there, the door out, and I grabbed it, and I told him to push, 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 and we got it up, and I said, well, there's a lesson for you. No such thing as can't, there's only do. So, I should remove that can't out of the dictionary, because the only person that's failing themselves in that situation is yourself. So, Anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna finish taking all this water off and and then uh, hit the road. So thank you guys for watching my video, for supporting. We're putting uh, Calvin's Corner 72 flags up. Gotta get them. And uh, we will uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching. All right.